What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you an epic toy haul from my birthday get together. I don't like to call it party because party sounds kind of childish, but I'll call it a get together as a get together of friends and mostly family. But I did have some friends come through and bring me some toys. But before we get into the haul, make sure you guys drop a like on this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to click on something else, hit that little bell to let you know when my videos are uploading so you can be one of the first ones to watch. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul. For all my pop lovers out there, one of my friends came through and bought me a brand new pop that I've been wanting. To me, this is probably one of the best pops from this line of series for a long time. That is the Walgreens exclusive Kane, the Demon Kane. This guy looks freaking awesome. A lot of detail. I've been seeing him around. I just hadn't actually bought it myself. And a friend came through, purchased it for me. So now I don't have to spend my money on it. And it's freaking awesome. Let me go ahead and take it out of the box so you guys can take a closer look at it. Look how crazy cool this looks. This represents him great. He has the long hair on there in the back. Now this isn't like Kane when he first came into WWE. This is a little bit after. The original Kane had like the full body suit. This one here doesn't. He just has like the leotard, I guess you would say. Except it has pants on it. Still freaking cool looking. Has the hands like he's about to do a choke slam. The face looks freaking awesome with the mask actually, I guess you would say. Looks freaking great. Some people complain because the mask doesn't cover all of his skin on his face. I'm not complaining. This pop actually came out with Shawn Michaels also, but the Shawn Michaels is just kind of boring and dull. The only way you could tell you Shawn Michaels is because of his pants, the heartbreak kid. This guy looks a lot better. I might end up getting Shawn Michaels just because, but I'm glad I got this guy. Special shout out to the friend that bought me this. The guy is freaking awesome. Now my next toy is another awesome toy that another friend bought me. This thing is freaking cool looking. I hadn't actually planned on buying it myself, but I was actually planning on, well, I kind of was, because this whole line of toys has that awesome Build-A-Figure, and I was like, man, that's a lot of money, though, I don't want to know if I want to buy all those figures, but this is one from that series, he looks cool, and he's probably one of my favorites from the series that I haven't bought yet, this is Shocker, Shocker looks freaking cool, look at him, I think they say he's on the Blizzard body, whatever that guy is, some unknown person, Anyway, this guy looks freaking cool. I'm actually not going to take this guy out of the box because I might end up doing a review on him. I'm not sure yet. Comes with a build a figure for the Sandman. The Sandman, in my opinion, is probably one of the best build a figures there is out there right now. He looks really good. It looks like, because you know, sometimes the build a figures don't, don't have that quality in build and paint. Whereas this one here looks like he would be one of these guys. He looks freaking cool. Like I said, Shocker is more like a Spider-Man villain. Has those effects that we've seen on a lot of Marvel Legend figures. Kind of wish they would come out with something original. But the actual action figure itself looks freaking great, and I can't wait to put them up there on my shelf, along with the other guys. Shout out to the other friend that bought me this one. Now, these next two toys I'm looking at right now, probably, out of all these, the craziest and coolest ones of all. These toys, guys, are probably older than some of you. Almost as old as me, and they still hold it. Like They still hold how cool they are. They're freaking great. only problem with these toys is, I'm not going to open them up. That sounds like it really sucks, and it does because these guys look freaking cool. These guys are a action figure representation of my second favorite character from any genre, comics, anime, anything like that. <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. The first one we have here is Albert. You're like, wait, Deacon, that looks like Wolverine. No, this isn't Wolverine. This is Albert. Now, it's the robotic Wolverine. His name is Albert. It's some kind of adaptation of Wolverine where they made him into a robot or something like that. Cool thing about this is... You notice he has like some arms over here. If you squeeze his legs together, his other arms pop off and you put those other arms on. I guess you want to change them out again. You just squeeze his legs together again. It says here on exclusive Marvel t-shirt offer inside. I wonder if that's still available. But I'm not opening it so I will never find out. It has a little uh, trading card there in the back behind the actual action figure. Some guy named Arcade. Never heard of him before. But this guy, like, it, the cover of it looks like a freaking comic book the way they have it up here. You have Albert. Like, it looks like a bunch of weird X-Men. Only one that looks normal is the Beast. Back here on the back of the box, I'm not sure how many of these guys you can actually see. I'll just name off a few. You have Bishop, you have Magneto, you have Cyclops. And I think I almost want to say I had this Cyclops when I was young. He looks freaking cool. Sabretooth looks cool, man. These figures, even though they don't have the articulation and probably paint jobs that the new figures do, they still look freaking cool, man. You have a Beast that's huge up here. And then you have, uh, see, the Silver Samurai. Great for Wolverine collectors. He has some other series up here. I'm not sure this is the series this came from. You have a Cable, uh, Cannonball. It's all kinds of crazy guys. Shatterstar, which actually came out with the Marvel Legend recently. Man, these toys look great. If I could have them all, I would. But the only thing that sucks, like I said, I wouldn't take them out of the package because they just look so good. They're not worth a ton of money, but just the fact that they're so old and just look so cool with these old retro style packaging, they just I gotta keep them in the blister packs. Now, as cool as that first one was, 
it's probably gonna be harder to get even better than that but it actually does this next action figure is just he is crazy cool man i actually picked up the pop of this recently and if you watch my videos you know I, which one it is this guy looks freaking awesome this guy is weapon x who's weapon x well it's wolverine when he was getting his adamantium and stuff put on he even has a little helmet here the only sucks thing about the helmet is you can't see his head and see what the head looks like but for it to be weapon x you need the helmet to stay on has all the like the tubes and stuff going to the side you can see all the looks like um what do you call it i don't know something going on around his body that's probably feeding his body adamantium you see the claws on here the claws look kind of weird actually they look like they're actually just put on top of his hands little uh belt you have here that weapon x always has guy yeah, looks freaking cool cool box art here with the actual original weapon x over here high tech training helmet cool stuff and it says it includes official marvel universe trading card and in the back right there is an old shadow cat or known as kitty pride she looks freaking cool it says here on top the original mutant superheroes it only has wolverine on this time on this one though like the comic book style packaging x-men weapon x back here in the back actually has a lot more action figures than even the other one you have a lot of jim lee kind of sculpted you have Gambit, you have Cyclops, you have the original Wolverine, more Sabretooth, more Magnetos, uh, Mr. Sinister even has, uh, what's the hell you say his name, Sauron, the weird pterodactyl guy, Archangel, Colossus. These guys are here a little bit more simpler than you have. You have Juggernaut here, you have a Venom, Spider-Man. These toys are freaking awesome, man. Now, this is the one that's really old. This thing was made in 1992, 25 years I just turned 30, so it's only I'm only five years older than this guy. I probably wouldn't have had this guy because I was really into Ninja Charles at the time. But if I'd have known about it and I was in the X Men at the time, I definitely would have had this guy. Of course, he wouldn't be in the package. If you notice, this is made by Toy Biz. That's who used to make Marvel Legends, but now is Hasbro. But yeah, these are old Toy Biz toys. This guy is freaking awesome, man. <sighs> I'm glad I got him. Like I said, though, it only sucks because I can't open it, man. Or I could, technically. Physically, I could open it, but I just can't open it. It looks too good like this, guys. And uh, like I said, shout out to the friend that bought me these. He really pulled through, came through with some cool-ass toys. I love them, man. So, guys, yeah, that was my haul. Well, as far as toys go, that was my haul for my birthday party or get-together, whatever you want to call it. Had a great time hanging out with friends and family and stuff like that playing some cornhole i didn't get to drink no beer because my family was there other than that had a great time opening these guys up loved them great stuff great toys i love it guys like i said earlier in the video make sure you smash that like button drop me a like on this video subscribe if you haven't let me know down in the comments below which out of all these figures you like the best i'm deacon do dirty i'll catch you in the next video